Good morning, folks. We thought the worst weather was coming to the United States last night. Nope. We've got all of it in the top science news from Earth to the deep cosmos. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star exceptionally quiet. The active region, the bright area turning around on the north, has produced no solar flares and is getting ready to bore the far side of the sun. Solar wind is dropping out intensity this morning, especially plasma speed in purple. Geomagnetic conditions calmed down for three zeros in a row this morning on the KP. Next set of coronal holes becoming visible is on the south there, turning in. Don't forget the previous opening may impact Earth with its streams over the weekend. So indeed, there were reports of tornadoes yesterday. Some were chased, some dropped hail, and that is definitely going to continue tonight. But first... Gaia just attacked the Middle East. First, lightning has killed a number of people in India and Pakistan, but also the flash flooding and wind-driven storm damage. They have indeed seen tornadoes as well. This one was luckily small because it actually hit the cameraman, but it didn't stop there. Imagine looking out your airplane window and seeing this, a monster sandstorm heading right for your home. Here are some of the shots of what it looked like from the ground. Dust storm. Tornadoes, lightning, hail, flooding, over 100 dead in India and Pakistan, with one more day of storms to go. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for the U.S. and the severe storms that will drop tornadoes and hail tonight. The severe threat doesn't seem to take a break overnight into Friday either, just charges right through. Good news is that the worst of it will be heading offshore by late Friday night, so that is a plus. Let's go next to a closer look at lightning. This is lightning over the LOFAR Super Terp, and they are describing minute details in thunderstorm flashes, including why they often do strike twice or multiple times after the leader flashes first. Let's take a small jump off-world and go to Mercury. New information about the interior puts new ideas about current and past magnetic field activity at Mercury into the mix. Its core is 85% of the planet's interior. Let's go one step further to the Sun. You're watching the 2017 September solar flares because a new study is focusing on their magnetism. Let's take a closer look at that flaring region down to the sunspots. It began as a lone single spot but was basically overtaken by a fast moving sunspot group that slammed into it from behind and made that arch around it with a tremendous umbra and magnetic complexity. If you watch closely, the flares are rippling out that same arc we just saw in the sunspots. Well, that sunspot morphology will go down as one of the weirdest ever. They've studied it intensely, and the link to this story below is well worth it for you solar geeks like me. And perhaps maybe let's look at a bigger flare. How about something 10 times bigger than the famous 1859 Carrington Flare event? And it just happened on a Jupiter-sized brown dwarf that almost doesn't meet the criteria of a star, not the least of which because it is so cold. Imagine something like this happening on Jupiter or Saturn. Up next, luminous blue variable star that supposedly has nova ejecta, aka a nebula, around it. I was skeptical when viewing the hydrogen alpha and various gigahertz emissions photos, but when they piece this whole thing together, it does look like an amazing cocoon. A shock shell, and you can see how much of the material has been warped and bent around the shell over time. Last but not least, the jellyfish galaxy. And if it's not amazing enough for optical light features to look like that, Chandra reveals it's actually much more proper jellyfish than we realized. The extra blue, superheated material emitting in x-rays. Beautiful. Best of luck to those under the weather threat tonight. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.